hi guys welcome back now what we said <coughs> we said that we are going to look at how to how to create or start multiple kafka servers yeah i don't know why i slipped out that particular word okay we started with this guy id 0 now we are going to bring up 1 and 2 now when you say bring up 1 and 2 actually you need to configure that's all it is man so first let let me shut down this existing one i'll go to cmd and make sure that I shut it down again shutting down is here as you can see just let me go to this and I will first stop this and stop this okay this is one and this is two D remember this the moment once you stop zookeeper automatically even Kafka will also stop so that use case also we're going to see it so I'm going to st stop Kafka server stop dot bat and the moment once i have executed instance deletion successful and here as you can see i think it it have stopped i guess okay so, yeah there you go it has stopped yeah it has stopped now i'm going to stop zookeeper zookeeper server stop dot bat so instant deletion is successful as you can see deleting the instance which is successful this particular instances have been deleted okay now it has been del instance deletion successful which means all these things should have been and as you can see the moment once i have can you see this it's taking a backup of server.logs here even though you have a server.log which is a good observation see here, the where you can find all the logs now it is taking a backup of this which is nice now what i'm going to do uh, i don't want any of those things i'll just delete it at this moment hang on don't be don't get panicked out of it so i'll go to etc kafka where the properties are there what i'm going to do i'm going to create rename this server to server hyphen zero now one two see i've created three copies server dot one and if you are if you already have made a guess that you have to supply these parameters for each Kafka param for each of your starting, then you're right. So what, what we are going to do, there are three properties file. So every time we run a command, we'll supply the respective properties file as simple as that. And that becomes your three Kafka broker. So here you will have server zero dot properties, server one dot properties and server two dot properties. I think it's better that I kind of uh, shift this. Okay, just give me a moment. I think this is much more actually comfortable. So this is your first broker. Yeah, zero, one, and two. Yeah, that that's two, three, four. This is good. Okay. Now you have to supply three properties well, and with this zookeeper only. With this zookeeper, zookeeper is two one eight one only. So that's also possible. Now you might ask even question, Manju, can I create another zookeeper? and kind of tie up with these specific brokers well that's also achievable but again not at this moment we're too early to discuss that all right so now <coughs> you have three servers file so let, let's open one and two there's nothing that i'm going to do on zero because zero is anyways configured so let's open the server one okay server one uh, no right so first thing is broker id Remember broker ID zero is already tied to some other server, right? I don't want that. So I'm going to change it to one and 1992. No, I want 1993. You cannot have the same port. If you have the same port, it won't work. And logs, obviously I will have another log directory. Now you know why I created another, why I created a zero and one, remember? Oh crap, I think I've deleted the logs itself, man. Okay. I should not have been deleted it, but that's okay. Let me try to create one zookeeper or let's do one thing. I'm not going to create any directory. Let us see the behavior of it. If I do not create any directory, the use case is that I have just deleted all the things in the logs, including the directories. Now, if I do not create a directory, whether Kafka automatically creates this. Okay. Let, let's check that out. I want to check that out. Okay. Now for server one, the properties is one for server two. Obviously, I will change it to two, right? So here the broker ID will become 
2 I'll change it to 1994 this is exactly getting in sync with our uh, diagram remember this that's I said that is the reason I said that the diagram is kind of important for us see here we are trying to get in sync with this is this broker ID 2 broker ID 2 1994 and 1994 wow that's a nice arrow okay <coughs> now and here the logs will be two all right so with that let's try to bring up the Kafka three servers first is whether the zookeeper is up okay first let me clear this CLS zookeeper there you go all right guys it automatically created the directory so how awesome is that okay logs have been there now next is that I'm going to supply the properties and here remember I cannot supply this at this moment I have renamed it so what is the renaming renaming is that we have kept server zero dot properties right so this I have to supply over here right let's do that and before that let me copy this command because anyways this is important for me to even navigate in the another tab so here I'm going to supply hyphen zero by that let's check it what happens okay there you go see here you have zero okay now the server logs are getting populated which is awesome see 20 kb now let's go to the next next um, window and let me even actually populate another command prompt okay so here I'm in Windows now I'm going to supply another Kafka server okay so instead of 0 I'll be supplying 1 yeah so this remains the same this remains the same and this I'm going to supply is 1 okay enter see here another one has been populated since there was no conflict it has started and the server logs have been also been updated next let's start up the third one uh, I think I forgot to take the path okay not this one guys come on so I need to take the path which is in Windows start so CD and Kafka server dot bat okay and here I'm going to supply two yeah two let's see this if this comes up properly yeah there you go you have two and then you have the log file so in each there is some meta properties file let's see what is meta dot properties well as you can see the meta properties are maintaining the broker id can you see this broker id 2 yeah so that's okay for in each folder you have the meta properties which will maintain certain metadata information which is again not infor not not require required at this moment so just let me change this okay to notepad plus uh, plus set default server dot log and there you go so node id 0 has started yeah node id 0 has started which is good let's see if there's anything called as node id 1 because we had created three one three files right there you go see node id 1 running in port 1993 and in a similar way you'll be having node id 2 running in port 1994 okay. and even the logs as well see here okay see here and if you're asking what is absolute prime this is nothing but the my windows machine name windows machine name whatever windows that i'm working right now i've kept it as absolute prime so that just that's just my windows machine name so it's like 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 your local host Having said that, if you can see here, ID2, this is broker ID2, broker ID2. Yeah, all right, good. Now, one final thing, one more final thing before we uh, end up this video. Uh, I think we're done with server logs and metadata and a lot of this information, which is, which is cool. Now, as I said before, what happens if I stop the zookeeper directly? What happens if I stop the zookeeper directly here here you have kafka 1 here you have kafka 2 right and here in this you have kafka 3 
what if i what if i shut down zookeeper whether all these three kafka server will be shut down or not let's check that i'm going to shut down kafka server uh, zookeeper and let's see what happens i'm going to open another command prompt navigate to that path where there are commands cd i'm going to stop zookeeper zookeeper server stop dot bat okay observe in the left panel of your screen here okay i wish i could have dismantled this outside something like this no i can't okay that's okay so i am entering it right now see i have stopped it the moment i have stopped it see here the kafka server is started to cry see the kafka server has started to cry oh no what's happening even this also has started to cry see it has started to cry oh do know what's happening see the moment if i start the server obviously by supplying the right parameters just let me show that if i the moment if i start it again see i'm trying to start yeah and as you can see it says that wow session established complete so zookeeper is up i'm happy another kafka server let's see this see connection establishment so zookeeper is up i'm happy and this guy see session establishment zookeeper is up i'm happy so what do we understand if this is down everything goes down but the other way is not the true case okay so other way is not the true case if this is down this can still be up and running okay if this is down this can be still be up and running if this is down this can be still up and running so let let's stop the let's stop the kafka server completely now uh, not not the kafka server yeah kafka server kafka server stop dot bat okay and as you can see the moment i stop server it has taken all three kafka servers see all three kafka servers which means see it's gone see exited this is the first one let's see the second kafka server see stopped third kafka server stopped and obviously i have not stopped the zookeeper stopping zookeeper that also has been stopped successfully now with that we are going to close this video and as a part of the exercise what you have to do in the unix in the wsl guys if you should not be forgetting in linux in the linux you have to do to do two things first first is that you need to change the logs okay let me let me show that where you change the logs okay let's go to wsl this, right now i am in unix home integration arky uh, ls kafka ls uh, i'll go to confluent and here you already have logs obviously logs you need to go to um, bin bin and obviously you don't need to go to this windows because you are not in windows anymore you are in linux so make sure that not here i'm sorry go back you have to go to the configuration etc where are you confluent etc ls kafka let me just clear this out ls vi sudo vi first is zookeeper dot properties okay and here you need to change it you need to change this directory and follow similar pattern of what we have followed in the windows machine as well so i hope by next video you would have changed it and anyways i'm going to show that what i have done and then we can pick it up even in linux as well i'm going to have a three broker servers set up ready okay so, so the one that you say have three brokers set up which we call it as a cluster cluster are nothing but what do you mean by cluster cluster means grouping you are grouping things so there are three broker servers three broker servers and those three can form one cluster one cluster it it depends upon the on the project requirement how, of how many brokers have to become a cluster but uh, i've just given an example saying that three broker servers have become one cluster all right guys with that we'll wind up with this video and in the next video 
in the next video what we are going to do we are going to learn kafka producer yeah kafka producer and consumer kafka producer and where are where is the consumer oh wow i forgot okay there you go producer and consumer this should have been together kafka producer consumer and consumer group these three things kind of go together now kafka broker you you have seen this to some extent and hence i'm going to mark it as yellow zookeeper you have seen to some extent okay and hence i'm going to make it as yellow rest we have not seen it we are going to pick up in the next part of the video until then take care have an awesome learning see ya